be balanced. So right now it's just a little back heavy minus the equipment on there. Go like this. Why in the hell is it heavy on one side? Well, this configuration, or without it, this two inch spacer is good for watching birds. Shit, I dinged it. God damn it. Sorry about that. This is the frustrations of being an astrophotographer. Uh, at least I'm showing it. Um, maybe a black sharpie will fix that, but... Okay, what I did was, um, the way this thing was rigged, it was set for astro viewing and... The uh, cray focus, the two-inch cray focuser right here, was right over here, which made it, you know, as I demonstrated in my other video, left side heavy. Um, also, the star finder uh, was about right here. I have moved that to the midsection. And the tools that you're going to need is um, metric to make any adjustment to this. This is pretty nice. It's um, very modular. 
Okay, so I tested it last night, uh, even though it was left side heavy, it, w it needed some serious culmination. Um, if you, I, I pointed this at Vega last night, and uh, it was just, looked like two fishes swimming together. So, I have uh, an extra plate here. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'll just keep it for extra. Um, the way I'm going to be using this, I'm not going to need any, um, some big ass accessory on here. I'll be using uh, my, my, my Star Shoot Auto Guider from Orion. It's going to be mounted midsection here. Um, it supports up to 1500 milliliter, millimeter focal length for, for, star, for star guiding. And um, now, I can mount it to where I need it as for astrophotography. I won't be doing any astro viewing. That would be crazy. Do you, do you know, for some IPC you'll spend like almost $400 when you can buy astrophotography equipment. Not only that, the images last forever. Uh, you buy an, an eyepiece, you see it once and you'll never see it again, but you still have it for viewing on cloudy nights. Not. So, so this has been refitted for my, for astro photography, not astro viewing, so you won't find me spending money, wasting money on eyepieces. Ridiculous. All right, let's see how it looks. Okay, I made sure everything was tight on top. No loose bolts. Um, next, what we want to do is, once I get it mounted on here, um, on the mount, is uh, gonna do some serious culmination. Okay, that's on tight. Now, my camera is center of gravity, and so if I were to let this go, Swing and hit me in the head. Ah, check that out. I need to rebalance and reposition it though, but that's not bad. It's no longer swinging all the way left, but uh, I'm happy with that. So, but once I put my camera on here, I'm, it should be uh, pretty balanced. So right now it's just. A little back heavy minus the equipment on there. Okay, now I need to do some collimation now. Yes, this is my stool that I was using to make any adjustments. Yeah, I'm short. <sighs> All right. If you'll notice, um, this is my sky view, and uh, I only have uh, two hours each way to do any astro astrophotography for uh, two hours from the meridian east or west, so I got a two hour window because of these damn trees. Um, and, uh, see right there, it's facing southeast, that's at 11 o'clock, that's how I get the, um, the Eagle Nebula. Facing north, northeast, right up there. That's where you can get the Pinwheel Galaxy. Facing, not, I'm sorry, northwest. That's northwest. And from that view over there is where um, is uh, I start with the either Andromeda or the Wizard, the, the Wizard Nebula, um, the Heart, the Heart Galaxy, not the Heart Nebula. Or the icy, I don't know the names yet, but uh, you get my point. So, this is my view that I have to work with. That's also where I get the Dumbbell Nebula that's starting at the northeast. And from right here, I can do my polar alignment manually. Um, now that, um, get a load of this. Now that I move my star finder, I can use sharp cap. Because uh, I can use SharpCap now to do the polar alignment. Hey, save myself $300. Don't need no pole master. Okay, so there it is. And to put on the uh, my
my Orion Star Shoot Auto Guider. And it's mounted on top now. No longer it's mounted for astro viewing. Since I removed the uh, second plate up there, it's a lot lighter too. Shucks, I gotta clean this. Oh, here, here's another thing. Just the slightest light. This thing captures light like crazy. When I was um, shooting uh, the Vega, the Double Star, uh, partner there with Epsilon 1-2, I was picking up light. It just ruined my whole image and I was only using it for a test of five second exposure. Okay. I'm done now. I gotta get to work. Thank you for watching.